An overcast and blustery day for the second day of the Blenheim Palace International Horse Trials. But there was no blowing off course for Janelle Price as the New Zealand rider stormed into the lead in the CIC 3 star for 8 and 9 year olds on a Skona M with a score of 34.6 and on track for a third straight win in the class. Unexpected actually to be in the lead of the 8 and 9 year old class this year. I know uh, I come off the back of uh, winning the last two years but Escona is uh, really quite inexperienced. While she is uh, very quality and one that I've sort of believed in, it's, uh, you know, she's sort of been a bit green and, and really just coming through the grades. So um, a bit of a surprise, but obviously very happy uh, and sort of feel like I've got quite a lot of work to do now. Blenheim, well, look, it's beautiful. I mean, the palace is uh, incredible. It's, we're so lucky in this country. The settings are absolutely majestic and unlike nowhere else. Um, the ground looks beautiful, the track is always so well presented. I think specifically for this eight and nine year old class they build a really educational and sort of horse friendly track to get these horses sort of you know on, on a, off to a good start for their international career. So it's a great class and um, you know delighted to be here competing. Price is a lead of 0.6 over first day leader Pepper Funnel. Also on Friday, the Pony Clubbers starred in the amateur rings, bringing plenty of supporters to enjoy the day. But back in the main CCI three-star, there was no change at the top, with Germany's Bettina Hoy still leading by nearly seven points. Hi, my name is Bettina Hoy. I'm riding Senior Medicot in the CCI three-star. Uh, my dressage was yesterday, Thursday uh, afternoon and I was uh, very, very pleased with his test. He has done some very nice tests, but definitely was, yesterday was definitely a highlight, I have to say. And tomorrow we've obviously got the cross country. Uh, it's a big challenge. I think the weather is gonna be not so nice, uh, but the ground at the moment looks fantastic, but there are enough good questions out there for every horse. Well, I guess um, there are quite a few fence complexes uh, that are very interesting. Obviously the water is always a feature, uh, we cross the water twice. Um, there's a very good spot near the Event Rider Masters tent uh, where you can see quite a few fences uh, from the one spot. So yeah, no, there are some, some nice areas, but it's also worthwhile walking around and actually having a look at each individual fence. It will be another action-packed Saturday at Blenheim, which will provide plenty of drama.